Hey guys, my name is Rodrigo, and in this video I'll show you how to install Transmission on FreeNAS 11.2. This FreeNAS 11.2 is pretty recent, it's since December 5th, so it's about a week old. And it's a bit different than the previous version, 11.1. .1. As you can see, it has a new dashboard, everything. Yeah, it's been revamped. So let's start this. This is a fresh uh, install. Everything's brand new. I haven't done anything, so I'll just start from the very beginning. The first thing we'll do is create a pool in the storage. Pool. Add. Create new pool. Okay. Yeah, I have two disks here. One is a terabyte, one's 500 gigabytes. So I'll just put it. It's a big one. Doesn't really matter because it's just to show you guys how to do it. And we give here a name. Let's say new. Create. Yes. Confirm. Create pool, and that's creating a pool. It should be rather quick, a couple of seconds, and it should be over. After this, we will create a data set to be able to use with transmission, and that's coming up right now. Okay, almost. Okay, and that's done. So, create a new data set, name it transmission. You can name it whatever you want, but this is just for me to make it easier afterwards to know which data set is for which plugin. That's that. Next, we will create an account. First, we'll create a group. And this is the, the trick I found out before it wasn't working. I've tried everything. I was trying all the tutorials online and reading blogs and everything and nothing would work I would install correctly but then uh, I would load the, the torrent file and then I would ha I wouldn't have any tra any permissions so it was a permissions issue and I was trying everything I can think of and everything I, I was reading but nothing was working until I, I read one blog where they mentioned to change this GID to 9921 and name it transmission and that's that so this is a trick putting it to 921 everything else I've tried it didn't work so it's gonna create the group let's just create a user I like to always create a user named admin but you can name it whatever you want Put the password what I normally have. Okay, password. That's that. I always like to get full permission just to check, just for now. You can change it afterwards if you like, if you want to, I mean. So that's creating a user. Next, we will add the user to that group, to the transmission group we just created. But in this case, we could have created the user first and then the group afterwards, but yeah, that's hindsight. Groups, transmission, members. I'm not even sure if this is actually 100% necessary. I just do it. I should try it one day to see if it really makes a difference or not. But oh well. I know for sure that this way it works, so I'll just leave it like this. So that's that. So next, we will, yeah, while we're at it, we can just create the the share. And since I'm on a Mac, the transmission, advanced mode, just to see. I like to, yeah, full permissions, and later on I can change it to whatever I want. Okay, looks good. Save that. I'm going to have to enable it since it's the first time. So what that did, I just enabled the AFP. That's here. That's good. So now I can check it online on the computer. Next step is to install transmission, the plugin. So you want to hear it. I mean, yeah, plugins available. Since, yeah, it's the first time it's taking a while to load. So here we go. Close that. Where's transmission? Should be down here. Okay. Install. There we go. 
let's save. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now this is gonna take a couple of minutes. I'd say like five, ten minutes to install because it's pulling everything from the internet right now. It says it's the first time. So I'll just fast forward this and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so finally it finished. Wow, it took a long time. I'm not sure why it took so long, but you know, it's I'm happy it finished. So that is done. Transmission is installed. Afterwards, we just go to sh jails here. We first have to stop it because I think it's yeah, it's running. It automatically runs after installation, so we have to stop that. So next is mount points, actions, add mount point which is the previous version was uh, adding storage here. This one is called um, mounting point, mount points. Okay, that up here is transmission, destination, you go to media. Where is it? Here it is. Uh, let's save that. I think that's pretty much it. Let me just check once more the storage data sets that I just created to make sure it has the correct permissions. So this is all about permissions. So edit permissions. Okay, so it's not. Let me change it to admin. Real. This group. We changed to transmission, which was the one we created. Get full access. Continue. Save. Okay, that's that. So everything is done. Let's just check it out. Go to here installed. And start. So it started. Go to management. It's loading. Yeah, for some reason, it's kind of slow. It's probably my network. No worries. First thing to do is change the folder. Move all that and put it slash media, which was the folder we pointed to a couple of seconds ago, minutes ago. That that's fine. So let's just try it out. Let's just try it here. Where's okay now? Where is it? Oh, for example, this one. So Upload. So it should appear very shortly on here. There it is. And let's see where it goes. It's searching 10 peers. That's good. Downloading. That's also good. And there you go. It's downloading. Everything's working fine. Because normally before you would you would see a message saying permission. Uh, unable to go to folder media or whatever something like that but yeah so this is working fine everything's good I'm happy and that's it I think that's it if you have any other questions just let me know I'll be happy to help you uh, thanks and see you next time bye